Stand back, friends. The Dora Milaje have this situation under control. There are forces at play here your feeble minds cannot begin to comprehend. Nothing is under your control. Not even the concentration of psionic energy that you call a soul. This stone, so much power. I must have them all. <sighs> Fetch them for me, won't you, my dears? I have matters of great scientific importance that require my immediate attention. The Dora Melage would never attack their king. The Soul Stone has corrupted them. Be careful not to harm them. They are not in control of their actions. I hate fighting your own crew, T'Challa, but they gotta be stopped. As long as that stone is in Modok's hand, none in Wakanda are safe. It is our duty to stop him. These corridors connect the royal palace to Wakanda's city of the dead. So these ruins are full of dead monarchs? Their bodies, perhaps. But their spirits now dwell on the Jalia. The spirit plane. They live on beyond the veil. Guiding me when I need them most. Stick to science, gentlemen. Well, Fighting isn't your strong suit. Well, those who choose to dress I like that off. may not have a strong suit at all. Centuries of knowledge are etched into these walls. Ancient Wakandans called it magic. But there is no such thing. There is only science. It bends to my will. Now, so shall you. And then... The world! Your ancestors were ahead of their time to chase them. Thank them for me when I send you to meet them. This knowledge was not meant to be perverted by villains such as you. The knowledge found here will grant me access to an endless supply of souls on which my stone may feast. But first... <laughs> An appetizer! How delicious! <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> already have, Modok, but you did succeed in one thing. You stirred the ancient warriors that reside here in this city of the dead. The Necropolis is now their home, just as Wakanda is mine. And we shall protect our homes at any cost. No, not science, Modok. Something far greater. Far, far greater. Your Majesty, if I may. 
Yes. Of course. No man is fit to wield such power unchecked. Not even a king. Each of these stones is capable of shattering worlds on their own. Just imagine what they could do together. Yes. Just imagine. So, what do we do with the Infinity Stones now? We must take action to ensure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. <coughs> <coughs> There is only one hand on which they belong. The hand of Thanos. Wow, these losers just don't quit, do they? And thankfully, neither do you. If not for your efforts, we would have been forced to gather each of the stones ourselves. I will make certain that our master celebrates what you've done here. In your eulogies. <laughs> <laughs>